I forgot to say this in the video, but time stamps will be provided so you can skip to what you need to hear or what you want to see. And hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna talk about the stickers, what to exchange for the votes, and what is what not to exchange. First things first, what vote is actually worth saving slash getting to i'm pretty sure it should be common knowledge don't bother yourself with the first two in my opinion of course this video is going to be mostly my opinion what i see that is rare what are people mostly talking about um so if you think otherwise chop it down in the comments but as for now me um i see for the third one the third one for well, you get all that what it shows right there. Two, 300 to uh, 20 to 525 dice. It can be between those numbers. And you get those three sticker packets. Uh, second vote is 80 to 170 dice to in those two sticker packets. And then the last uh, third one, or the first one, whatever you wanna go through, 15 to 29 in one sticker pack not worth it is it easier to get yes it's only 100 stars how you get the stars is by collecting duplicates of a card or a sticker i might be switching card and sticker it's just i play other games so that's why i say card sometimes versus stickers but uh this would be counted as 12 extra technically i'm pretty sure it would be 13 but the uh, when you first get a new sticker, it doesn't count it. It just counts it as you collected it, but you don't got duplicates. If I go to my bottom, yes, yeah, like uh, Lauren, it it, uh, it counted it as a, I got it. I completed. I'm more close to completing the set, but it does not count towards. I'm pretty sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. It does not count towards. It actually go into the sticker votes. If you get another one, that would count as five stars, not ten stars, five. Like right here, I got four, um, yeah, four, four extra stars. Combine these two, and I got eight. Uh, so yeah, and how you get the stickers? I'm pretty sure it's you, you know, but you get it from sticker packs. Whether it's the purple, blue one, or the green one, you get it from there. So yeah, the only one I'm willing is worth saving, purple. The last one, the 1,500, that's the only one worth saving up to and actually getting. As for why I don't uh, open the votes right now, it's because I have friends or a community that I'm a part of that I rather save them than trade them or exchange them I mean not trade my fault exchange them so that's why I got 2500 and I'm not gonna spend it right now I'm me personally I'm gonna save it to like the last 10 to 5 days and then open the votes to get hopefully get the last few stickers that I need other than that I will save them so I can trade them because I got a few friends that just started playing the game so it's perfect so I can just give them the most common ones like you, as you can see I got a lot the rare ones or it's obviously rare as for now if you are well if you don't got someone to trade to or a community up to you like I said is I rather save them but hey up to you Back. and as for the top three in my opinion that are rare is most talked to most um, sought out for is right at home and Mary and I'm all years those are the top three that are most sought out for most trying to get um, traded or someone that's trying to get it 
a lot of people will do <laughs> um, either buy it, which I don't think I'll, I haven't read the uh, community guidelines, not community, um, their policy or if they're allowed to do that. They will trade a lot of stickers just for that. So those are like, in my opinion, the top three. Now, I will be a general rule of thumb if you wanna use the votes, but you you don't want the game to pick out. Let's see, if I go here, yeah, it's, it autom the game automatically chooses what will be traded but if you want to choose yourself you just click this off and then you start adding by the plus button sadly that you cannot hold it because then it goes away so you have to auto manually go through each one of them to see slide down it personally gets annoying now as for what to save i will be I'm not gonna go through each and one of these like this and just talk about it. I'll just have a screenshots of encircled which ones are the rare, but general rule of thumb would be keep the four to five stars. So three doesn't matter on this one, like set 20, there's three stars. That's like, I got eight of them. Clearly it's pretty common. Um, it might be not as common for other people, but like the four stars, five stars. Of course, you can trade the uh, golden ones because they, it doesn't, you can't trade them. So those are like the ones that you can use for just to exchange them for extra stars. If, other than that, you can trade everything else. I don't because, so like I said, I trade with my friends or I help other people out, but the f one to three stars are pretty common. No one will really care about them, so get rid of them as you please. The four to five stars, keep. Four to five stars, keep. Uh, I will also, like I said, I'll be also providing screenshots and circle them. So uh, you know not to exchange them. That pretty much wraps up the video. I will be providing timestamps, and if you made it through this um, to the end of the video, I will be telling you about a giveaway because I know people have been asking me for stickers to complete their sets. I will make a separate video of every single set that I have and you can uh, ask for them. I will explain further details in that video. So keep subscribe, like, and turn on the notifications because I'm pretty sure you do not want to miss that because uh, that's all I require. I'm not going to, unless they're rare, I might ask for a trade, but other than that, one through three stars, I'm ha I'll happily give away, especially if I haven't traded today. Like today, haven't seen my friends, so I got five um, trades still. Well then, until next time.